Stopping by Woods on Snowy Evenings is, is one of those poems that's not just a great poem, but it's also a perfect poem. And I differentiate that, and it's important to note, perfection isn't greatness. There are great poems that are flawed. Uh, I, I've written some of my early great poems have, have word choices or, or modifiers that are not trite necessarily or cliche, but veer towards it. And you can tell I was younger at the time, but still because of the rest of the poem overcome that. I've also written perfect poems. Part, one of the most perfect poems that I wrote is a poem called Congolian Footfalls. And it's probably the, the greatest evocation that I know of, of, of a dreamlike state in poems. Not only in that the images convey dream, but the rhythms of the poem low one into a, an almost uh, hypnotic dreamlike state. But it's just about dreams. It's, it's not about anything deeper. Uh, so it recapitulates what dreams are, which I think is mostly just fluff. I don't think there's any great significance to dreams. So this is a poem that perfectly realizes its aims, but really I can't say that it's a great poem because it, it doesn't have the heft that, say, Dirge of the Empire State does.